Hi, my name's Jane. Thanks for joining me today. Um, today I'm going to be doing a cardiac rehab uh, exercise session uh, based on uh, phase four. Um, it's uh, based on the guidelines from the BACPR. Um, so if you've had a cardiac event and you've done your phase three uh, sessions in the community or at the hospital with the cardiac rehab nurse and exercise instructors, um, this is the class for you. So this is phase four, the one after. Um, so it's not just for cardiac rehab. Um, also, this is uh, exercise would be suitable for um, older adults, anyone uh, returning to exercise after having some time out. So there's lots of different levels, different intensities. Um, families um, so there's lots of um, options so give it a go it should be fun and um, uh, works all the muscles great for your uh, muscle strength and um, endurance and great for your balance as well so um, so this is um, so it's going to be a low impact um, of moderate intensity so first of all just quickly talk in about the ball scale so if you're not familiar with this, um, this is how our rate of perceived exertion, how puffed we're feeling throughout the exercise. So at no point you need to feel out of breath. It's good to feel puffed and sweaty and hot, but you need to feel like you're in control. So you don't want to feel out of breath. So a good test is the talk test. So if you can still talk and exercise, that's a good level to be working at. So six is no, uh, no exertion at all and 20 is maximal exertion we're looking to be about 13 somewhat hard okay so just keep that in mind throughout the exercise if at any point you want to stop or you think you're working too hard you can um, just march your feet just keep your feet marching it's really important not to suddenly stop as otherwise your blood pressure can drop and it makes you feel quite dizzy so um, if at any point you have to stop um, just keep the feet moving and um, and then join back in when you're ready. So um, equipment wise, we don't necessarily need anything because we're at home anyway, but if you've got a chair, a dining room chair, um, some light hand weights or some bottles or tins could be handy for our um, exercise session. Um, so that's all we need. Oh, and a drink. So make sure you've got water at hand. That's the most important thing, water and keep your feet marching. And if you've got chair and weights, that's a bonus. So if you haven't, I will show you alternatives so you don't have to use um, any equipment at all. Um, just to exercise safely at home, uh, listen to your body, it's really important. Um, so there's a, just a couple of contraindications to exercise before we start. So if your resting heart rate is higher than 100 beats per minute, then it's no to exercise. So if you we'll do a pulse just before we start. So if it's over 100, um, it's going a bit too fast to be exercising on top of that so no to exercise so if you're taking beta blockers or your your, your resting heart rate usually between about 60 and 80 but um, sometimes lower sometimes a bit higher if you're used to taking it you should know um, roughly what it is but if it's over 100 no to exercise okay so higher blood pressure 180 over 100 is um, a no-no for exercise as well so unless you've got heart rate monitor hard to um, know what your blood pressure is I understand that um, but if you know it's high higher than that then no to exercise um, and if you're on blood pressure tablets it's being maintained so that's good um, so if you feel unwell if you have um, fever don't exercise just wait until you feel better um, and come back and join us then so you know listen to your body uh, if you don't want if, you, if your body's telling you you don't want to do it then then don't okay um, unstable angina or unstable diabetes no again to exercise so you should know your diabetes uh, levels um with unstable angina if you're getting chest pain at rest at all then it's um a no to exercise and if you're feeling dizzy again no so after all those things if you tick them all off and you're all fine then we're good to exercise so um again listen to your body have a nice bit of space go in the garden if you need to or um just clear some bits around i know how i have to in in this house with all the, the kids about so um, put on some comfy clothes um, you can exercise in whatever you like um, pajamas if you want to but just try and make sure you put some nice comfy shoes on if i'd say to protect those ankles that would be the main thing okay so if all those are okay sorry to chat on for too long um, so we're going to start by taking our pulse so um, 15 second pulse join in when you are ready 
I'll count you down in three, two, one, go. Stop. Okay, so that's 15 seconds. Times it by four to get your minute heart rate. Um, if it is less than 100, then you're ready for exercise. Okay, let's go. We'll do our warm up. So find a bit of space, march on the spot, shoulder rolls. So have a drink anytime. Open the windows if you need to, if you're inside and forward shoulders, but just keep your feet marching. We're going to do body rock to the side, step and tap, step and a tap. We're going to add a shoulder, mobilising the shoulder joints. So if I'm going a bit fast, you can slow it down. If you're used to going a little bit faster, you can speed it up slightly. Okay, relax the shoulders down, twist, trunk twist. So trying to keep the hips square to the front, just rotating gently from the waist up. Step tap side to side. And hamstring curl. And double side step this way, double side step, double side step. So we're keeping the arms low, concentrate on the feet. Box step. So the next time round, we increase the intensity slightly. Heel digs this time, so heel and heel. Toes up. And side taps, just small side taps together, alternate feet, and reverse tap, tap in behind, marching forward. Here we go. So one, two, three, back, two, three. So march, 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 and a kick. At the end. Knee lifts on the spot, so step and a knee. Thinking about your posture, shoulders back, sucking those core muscles in. So we're gonna do calf raises next, good one for the balance. So feet wide, up on the toes, down again. Nice strong ankles. If you need to, you can hold onto your chair. Just make sure it's not in the way when we carry on. So, Calf muscles, second heart pump. So if you've got strong leg muscles, helps with your blood flow back up to the heart. So it takes the pressure of the heart if your muscles are nice and strong working with you. Good, body rock this way. Here we go, so step tap side to side. I'm gonna punch across. You will notice I haven't got any music on, so it's a shame, so if you like your Missing the Latin music or Elvis, you know, you can put that on or if you hate it, you can put one of your favourites. Okay, step that side to side. Hamstring curl. Opposite hand to shoulder, so bigger step to the side, bringing the heel up towards the bottom. Double side step this way this time, so we're going to swim the arm. Swim the arm. Small breaststroke arm. Box step next. Here we go. So forwards and back. Change into heel digs. Bicep curls. Side tap this time. So side and together. Single arms. So long arm levers. So options here, you can keep it low and strong, working a bit harder, a little bit higher. And 
change into reverse tap. So this time we're tapping the fingers behind, rotating the shoulders back. Marching forward, here we go. So one, two, three, knee. One, two, three, knee. Knee lifts on the spot, chest for the knee. So a little bit higher, options, up to about hip height, opposite hand. So again, drawing those core muscles in, nice steady breathing. So we're going to do some upright rows with your calf raise this time. So change in slightly, up and down. Good. Step tap side to side this way. Here we go. Step tap side to side. Hamstring curl, this time with arms, rowing the arms. So you'll see here both arms. This is our gradual extended warm up. And double side step, both arms swim. Box step next. Here we go. So punch, punch, both arms. Punch, punch. Change into heel digs, both arms. Bicep curls. Could be heel, toe, and a knee. Here we go. So heel, toe, knee, change legs, heel, toe, knee. So when you've got the feet going, you can add the bicep curls with the arms. So heel, toe, knee, heel, toe, knee. Good. Side taps this time. So side and side. So we're progressing both arms. If at any time you feel like you're a bit too puffed, change it to singles or drop the arms completely. Otherwise, carry on. Nearly there with the warm up. Reverse tap this time. So swing the arms, one forward, one back. So trying to maintain shoulder height with the arms. Marching forward, here we go. So one, two, three. Knee lifts on the spot, step and a knee. Options, tapping under. So you should be feeling your breath is uh, going a bit faster, breathing a bit quicker. We're going to change to squats. So feet wide, down and up, down and up. So knees over toes, got plie squats. So shoulders from the side, you're really sticking your bottom out though, and chest forward. Good. Last one. Last time around. Step tap side to side. Put your arms. Hamstring curl. So you make this move a bit bigger. Bring your heel up towards the bottom. Double side step. Swim the arms. Both arms. Sunshine arms a bit higher. Still in eye line. Box step to the front. Forwards and back. Forward and back. Heel digs, chest press, push with the arms. Okay, we're going to do our first stretch this time. Heel out in front, tip forward from the hip, toes on the side, and hamstring stretch. So a little tap of the toe in front. Roll up the arms. So you should feel that stretch there, back of the leg. And march. Gently change legs. Heel out. Tip forward from the hip. Feel the stretch through the back of the leg, through the hamstring. Lovely, well done. So marching. Carry on. Half jack, side taps. Side together.
single, single, double. Here we go. So single, single, double tap. Single, single, double tap. Well done. Single, single, double tap. Single, single, double. And reverse tap this time. Tap in behind. So you're going to stretch through the backs of the lower legs, through the calf muscles. I'll show you from the side. Feet wide this time. Big step back. Just keep that front toe tapping, wiggling the toes, or the heel up and down. So the main thing is you feel the stretch here, through the back of the leg. And a little march. Change legs. Break forward slightly. Lovely, well done. Marching on the spot. We're going to do some knee lifts. The options here, elbow to knee. Twisting from the waist up. Okay, last stretch for the legs. Front of thighs. Hold you onto that chair. Grab the back of your trouser or your trainer. Knees together. Okay, march round. Change the leg. So lift and forward. Bring your heel up, knees together. Lovely, well done. So you're keeping that heart rate elevated, marching the feet. Pulse raiser. So we're gonna do march for four then knees for four. Here we go. So one, two, three, four, knees. One, two, three, four, knees. One, two, three, four, and knees. Last time. One, two, three, four, knees. Just get the feet marching, we open and shut the arms. Dynamic arm stretches, not too far back. Just rotating through those shoulders. Lovely. So grab a drink, keep the feet moving, and then we'll do our circuit now. So the reason for our extended warm-up, so supply can meet demand, so we want to, our arteries to dilate Got the drink down and um, for free for blood so we don't get any chest pain or angina symptoms okay so feet marching we're gonna do sit to stand so feet flat on the floor so we're gonna do just a minute on each one which will be I'll time you right, okay so feet on the floor so if you're not using your arms it's a bit harder you can swing up but if you can, do it with your arms out in front. So you could do just a few of these, if you're finding these hard, little march, going up and down. March. But if you can continuously do these sit to stands, great for your muscle strength through the legs and through the glutes. So options for this one, if it's making your knees hurt, you really don't like it, you can come to the back of the chair and just do some squats. So squeeze as you come up, down and squeeze. So you can make it a little bit shallower, not quite so harsh on those knees. Good? Okay, minute. Next one, side steps. So options here, side arm raise with side steps. So this is our active recovery. So this is where we get our breath back. So we're gonna do side steps for two, side steps for two, so it's level one. This is where you can use your weights, side together, side. So this is our next level up. So if you've got, you be finding the weights a bit hard, or a bit heavy for those um, shoulders, bend the elbows slightly 
or just using no weights. Okay, an extension from this one. If you want to, you can have a little squat and together. Squat and together. Good. So I'm just checking on the time. Have two minutes. Next one. Okay, so this is our reverse tap, tapping behind, just like we did in the warm up. You might use a chair, so we're going to do some lunges. I'll show you from the side. So this is our level one. If you want to, we're going to go for the lunge. So feet wide and bend down and up, down and up. So your weight should be really centre, me aiming towards the floor. So you might do shallow squats, that's fine. Or you can go a bit lower. And change legs. Make it equal. So if you can do this without holding on, you can. So we did a circuit twice. So just pace yourself. Good. Active recovery now. So we're going to do calf raises. Just like we did on the warm up, upright rows, calf raise, upright rows, calf raise. I'm going to add the weights. Good. How are you feeling? So you should be feeling, begin to feel a bit puffed. How are we doing for time? Good. So if at any time you're tired, you feel your calf muscles feeling a bit achy, you can march this one and join back in when you're ready. Okay. And Next one, hamstring curl. So, hamstring curls. So we're gonna row the arms. Just small and controlled. So the option here is just do your hamstring curl with a row. Don't have to use the weights. This one is our cardiovascular one, so we'd all turn up. Active recovery and cardiovascular. So if you want to make it a little bit harder, add the weights. How are we doing for time? Good. So just 10 more seconds. Lovely. Well done. Pop the weights down. We're gonna do a wall press now. So could be arms and your chest, hands about shoulder height. Lean on something nice and secure. And bend at the elbows, see if you can still see me. So if you want to make this a little bit harder, feet back slightly, so a nice long line between your shoulder and your heels. Try and look at the wall though, not at me. Good, you're doing really well. How's that feeling? So you should, this one, we should be getting our breath back a bit. Just 10 more seconds. Good. Lovely. Well done. Okay. Knee lifts. Knees and knee. So options here. So we rotate. Just like we did before, or rotate with the weights. So, so again, really try and draw those tummy muscles in, so you're conscious of them working.
So knees and hips still forward, twist in from the waist up. 10 more seconds. Well done. Okay, so this is our march. <coughs> march on the spot. So we're going to add the weight to single arms, bicep curls. So if you've got a bit of room, you could walk this one around the room. A little bit of an extension, both arms. So the bicep muscles stronger. So you could go a little bit heavier with this one. Or this may feel a little bit easier than the other weighted ones. Nice steady breathing, always keeping the feet moving. Okay, a bit of an extension, you can slightly speed up the feet, but maintain that control through the arms. Lovely, well done. Okay, good. Keep the feet moving, grab a drink, try not to spill it this time. And we do it all again. So we're going back to the sit to stand. Okay, feet wide and arms up, down, sit down, stand up again. So try not to. Let the feet come off the ground. Try and plant them on the floor. If you want to make this a little bit harder, you can just skim the chair with the backs of your legs. If you need to make it a little bit easier, you can come here, tap the heels, back up again. How are you feeling? Feeling a bit puffed? If you're getting there on the Borg scale, somewhat hard, still be able to talk to me or sing along to your music. So as you progress with these, you could do them a little bit faster. Soon feel the difference. Lovely, well done. Okay, moving on. Side leg lift we're gonna do this time. Side leg lift, so toes forward. Try not to rock to the side, you're going to stand nice and tall and straight and side leg lift with the arm, side leg lift with the arm. So make it a little bit harder, add the weight. So we've gone halfway, change to the other side, side leg lift, add so I'm straight away adding the weight. If you want to drop the weight at any time, do so. But you're tapping into these muscles here, the top of the leg. So strengthening through the tops of the legs, through the thighs. So these feel quite easy to start off with. And then eventually you soon start to feel it. Okay, so we're going to our lunges now. Again, so feet wide, so you don't have to put your feet in front of the other, down and up. And squat, so we're going down and up, I'll show you from the side, down, up. Make it even, we'll swap, so you can do 30 seconds on each leg or if you prefer do 10 on each and then swap. Good. These are good ones for your balance as well as your legs. Well done. Okay, that's tricky them ones. They're quite hard, aren't they? Okay, back to those calf raises. So I'm going to go straight in with the weights. So we're going to go upright rows up on the toes, 
my strong ankles. So if you want to add on to this, you can do a deadlift with it. So we come to the side, we go up on the toes, and then we bend forward. So you're tipping forward from the hip, and just slightly soften the knees. So you're gonna go up and down, up and then forward, keeping that back nice and straight, making sure your head is still lifted and lifting forward, up, down. Don't forget the calf raises in between, up, down. Good, up. Lovely, well done. Okay, good. Hamstring curl. Get the uh, feet going. So, level one, just the arms. Good. Add in the weights. So, so we're doing a chest press here and rowing the arms back. So, if you find it difficult with the arms, you can just do one weight. That's it. Good. So you should still be able to talk to me. Feeling a bit puffed, feeling warmer, hopefully. Okay, so we're moving on to our active recovery. We're gonna go and do the full press again. So knees on something nice and secure. And bend the elbows. Bring those heels back slightly. Looking forward at the wall. Okay, just five more seconds. Lovely, well done. Marching, keep the feet marching. Grab a drink anytime, it's feeling hot. So we're gonna do our knee lifts again, knee lifts. So level one, just the knees. Lifting from the waist up slightly, adding the rotation. Then we're gonna add the weights. So just opposite hand to knee. Get coordinated. So you can add one weight or two weights. Okay, well done. So as you lift and drop and rotate, you should be able to feel it in the thighs. So we're not doing anything particular with our tummy muscles, but we're working them all the time. Well done, how are we doing for time? Good, and change, so march in the feet. So, options, single arm, bicep curls, single arm. Extension from this, both arms. Let's have a little walk around the room. Or you can speed it up slightly. So though it's not high impact, it's doing a small jog. How are you feeling? This is the last one. On quite quickly actually. So to extend this you can always do it for a bit longer, a minute and a half only. Just to start off with I've just done a minute. Might as well it's not quite enough actually. Next time we'll do a bit longer. Or as you can always put it on pause and do it for a minute and a half. Okay how are we doing for time? 
Very good. Lovely. Well done. Little march on the spot. So we're going to do a cool down now, bringing our heart rate down to normal resting levels. But we're not just going to suddenly stop. Nice extended cool down. Good. Well done. So shoulder rolls. Shoulder rolls. And forward shoulders. And stepped up side to side. So we're slower. Pace is a bit slower with the feet. Good, changing to toe touch to the front. So we're still using arms, single arms. Good, side taps, side together. So if you're feeling quite puffed, feel like you've had enough, drop the arms, still keep the feet moving though. And reverse tap, tap in behind. So slow this down, push back, push And marching forward, so one, two, three, and two, three, one, two, three. Box step here at the end, so we're going to go forwards and back. Swing the arms from the shoulders. Knees are soft, nice steady breathing. Change into heel digs, so single arms, small bicep curls. Double side step this way, so single arm swim. And hamstring curl. Good. And body rock side to side. So gently rotate. Well done, bring it back from arch shoulder rolls, just a bit smaller. And forwards arm circles, shoulder rolls. Good, well done. So step tap side to side. And toe taps to the front. Slow that tempo down. Side taps and side. So dropping the arms, allowing the heart rate to come down nice and gently. And tapping behind, reverse taps, making those smaller now. And marching forward. So one, two, three, tap forward. box step. So we're going to go forwards and back. Forwards. Feet wide still. And heel digs. So heel, heel. Good. Just double side step this way. Cyclo side. We're going to do hamstring curl next. So step and curl, just smaller, lower, slower. 
and change the body rock, add that shoulder, rubbing thigh down, bring it back to the mat. Good. So we do on some stretches. Shoulder up. And upper back stretch. So just cut the toes, arms out in front, shoulders down, nice long neck, go through from the side. So we're gently pushing forward with the arms, but you're gonna stretch through the top of the back here. Just keep those feet really slowly tapping. So you want to even drop your chin slightly. Well done. Okay. Shoulder rolls backwards. So we're going to do chest stretch next. So hands all the way around to your lower back and rotate the shoulders back. So this shouldn't feel any discomfort here. If it does, rotate the shoulders forward slightly. Okay. So I'll show you from the side. Rotate the shoulders back. Chest stretch is one. Good, relax the arms down. Shake out a bit, so one arm comes across, shoulder stretch, and arm across, so you're holding up with the other hand. Nice straight arm, hold either side of the elbow. Nice steady breathing, and change arms. Well done. Okay, so we're moving on to the feet now. So we're just really small alternate heel digs. And we're going to hold that into a hamstring stretch. So bringing the heel out in front, tip forward from the hip, bend in the back leg. Put the toe down at the front. So I'll show you from the side here. So back five foot straight, hinging forward from your hip, back knee bowing forward. And feeling that stretch through the back of the leg, through the hamstring there. Okay, get me up. So march of the feet and change legs. So as the heel comes out in front, tip forward from the hips and bend the back leg. Toe down at the front and you feel that stretch through the back of the leg again. Nice stretch through the hamstring. So stretching is good for your flexibility. Also stops you feeling achy or so achy tomorrow or the next day. Good, get me up. Okay. March of the feet. So we're going to stretch through the backs of the legs. Um, hold on to the chair if you need to, because you've got it handy. And step back. So feet are wide on this one. It's a good centre of balance. And front knee bends, back leg is straight. So you feel that stretch through the back of the lower leg through your calf muscles. So if you need to feel it a bit, uh, make sure your heels down at the back. If you can't really feel it, just lean slightly forward into that stretch, but make sure your front knee, you can still see your toe as you look down. Okay, gently up, change legs. Little march in between and the same again. So front knee is bent, back leg straight, toes forward, heel down at the back. Make sure you can still see your toe as you look down on that front foot and you're feeling the stretch through your calf muscles, back of the lower leg. Okay, lovely, well done. So fronts of thighs now, big muscles through the through the thighs, through the quads, holding on. So grab the back of your trouser or your trainer, knees together, looking forward, shoulders back. Feel that stretch. So you can either grab the back of your trouser or your trainer, like this, or if you're not quite so flexible, or you can grab your shoelaces 
and bring your heel up. As long as you feel that gentle stretch through the front of the thigh. Well done. Okay, so march. Get ready, change legs. Again, you can grab the back of your trouser or your trainer. A bit more flexible, grab your shoelaces. Again, try and get knees together and hips forward slightly. Good. Okay, so feet wide this time, walking side to side. So knees are going over the toes. Okay, hold it there. So knee over toe, other foot points forward, and feel the stretch through the thigh, through the inner thigh there. Lovely, well done. Okay, so gently rock side to side again. Feet are 10 to 2, knees over toes, as you're rocking side to side. Then leave it, and then go to the other side. Toes forward on the straight leg, knees over toes on the bent leg. Feeling that stretch. Lovely, well done. Okay, let's march and stop. So, I hope you enjoyed it. Um, thanks to uh, Better Together Dorset, who are going to put this class on their page. Um, they have got some excellent classes um, ranging from all levels, uh, not just exercise classes, not just hip classes or uh, general exercise classes. Um, there's Pilates, yoga, mindfulness, um, things to do with stress management, relaxation. I would highly recommend joining their Facebook page and just seeing what they have to offer. Loads of stuff on nutrition, chats with GPs and experts in their field. So. Um, I would uh, recommend having a look at those and um, good things to get into and to do whilst you're staying at home. So thank you ever so much for joining me. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, just to finish off, if you're a cardiac rehab patient, we're gonna do a pulse check and hopefully your heart rate has come back down near enough to your pre-exercise level. So I just count you down. In three, two, one, Go. Stop. Okay, well done. Grab a drink and well done. See you next time.